January 6th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Matthew 6, the New Testament Be careful not to display your righteousness merely to be seen by people. Otherwise, you have no reward with your Father in heaven. Thus, whenever you do charitable giving, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in synagogues and on streets, so that people will praise them. I tell you the truth, they have the reward. But when you do your giving, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your gift may be in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. Whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, because they love to pray while standing in synagogues and on street corners so that people can see them. Truly I say to you, they have their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. When you pray, do not babble repetitiously like the Gentiles, because they think that by their many words they will be heard. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. So pray this way. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we ourselves have forgiven our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their sins, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive you your sins. When you fast, do not look sullen like the hypocrites, for they make their faces unattractive so that people will see them fasting. I tell you the truth, they have their reward. When you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others when you are fasting, but only to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not accumulate for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But accumulate for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. If then your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is diseased, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness! No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't there more to life than food and more to the body than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap or gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you more valuable than they are? And which of you, by worrying, can add even one hour to his life? Why do you worry about clothing? Think about how the flowers of the field grow. They do not work or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his glory was clothed like one of these. If this is how God clothes the wild grass, which is here today and tomorrow is tossed into the fire to heat the oven, won't he clothe you even more, you people of little faith? So then, don't worry, saying what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? For the unconverted pursue these things, and your Heavenly Father knows that you need them. But above all, pursue His kingdom and righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So then, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Today has enough trouble of its own. Hi. 
Oh my goodness, God. <laughs> this passage of Matthew 6 is just filled with so many things. We could do 16 different Bible studies just on, on Matthew 6 alone. You have so much to share with us and so much to tell us. And, and we are listening, God, and we are excited. God, thank you for reminding us not to worry. Uh, that's such a, a common thing for us to do, to worry, to worry about finances, to worry about kids, our kids, to worry about our marriages, to worry about how we look, to worry about our job. Yet you promise us over and over and over again throughout all of your word that you have us, that you have our back, that, that you will take care of us, that you promise to always do good for us. God, not once have you ever failed me in this. You have always taken care of me. It's me who hasn't always depended upon you. And so right now, and everyone listening, if you're in that same same spot, right now, God, I just lay down everything before you. I don't come to you asking for anything to take care of any concerns I have because I know you will take care of them. What I do is I come before you and I just lay it all down at your feet. And I just give my life over to you, God, to do with it what you want. I would much rather pray. I would so much rather pray, God, that your will be done in my life than for anything I think I might want or anything I think needs to be fixed because <laughs> you know so much better than I ever could, than I ever would. I see such a small part of this world and it's usually very filtered and closed in and having to do with just me. Yet you see the whole entire picture, the whole gigantic universe and how all of us work together to your glory. So God, I pray today that I lay down everything before you. I am humbled before you and I, I ask for strength to do your will today. To do what you know is best for me. Even if it's baffling, even if I'm confused by it, even if I don't understand it, that, that you will give me the strength to remember your promises in your word to us, that you will always take care of us and provide what is good. God, we love you so much. Thank you. In your son's name we pray. Amen.